So, my last case turned to disaster, mildly speaking. So much that I had to flee my country. What a bummer. Why does it always have to be me? Broken cars, bones, careers, dead bodies, and somehow I always seem to be in the middle of it. The famous, infamous, private dick Joseph Carlton, ladies and gentlemen, stranded in a country where I don't even speak enough of the language to order a beer. But just as I started to enjoy my strange situation, something well known to my weary ears rang through the room. Somebody knocking on my door. Come in. Private detective, we got a problem. The problem is, we are missing an American student. And we are afraid that he could be dangerous. Do you have a picture of him? I think so. I see. So, what's his name? His name is Jason. Dangerous. Why do you say that? He loved his cat so much that he killed it. I see. Sounds like a genuine psychopath. So, I'll see what I can do. Your last chance. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Why is it always me? There has to be an answer somewhere. It's probably waiting for me somewhere behind the lonely corner, pointing its finger at me. I decided not to look for it. I felt safe. It couldn't get worse than that. What would be the next step to hell? Will I end up on the Sahara without even water in my glass? This thought gave me some comfort. I started nodding off, but then this guy spoke to me in my dream. I have to kill what I love. I understood. It was his cry for help. I have to go and save him from screwing it up again. But there was not enough time. This is what I knew for sure. And I had nothing on the hand. No info to use, no evidence. Only his face looking at me in my dream and begging me to find him. And then I had an idea. I would contact his picture in my head and use it like a metal detector. I just need to come through enough of the city to get to him. But I know I must soften my brain enough to prepare myself for this experiment. This is why I risk taking my last resort. Aztec magic mushroom powder I got in a drug bust back in New York. The last man who took it died in agony, screaming his innards out. I felt ready to become my old <coughs> alter ego. I was prepared to put my life in line for this bastard, whatever it would cost me. After a couple of hours deep in concentration, I came up with a plan for finding the runaway boy. I thought back to when I first arrived in the city, and remembered the first place I went, the bar. When you've just arrived in a foreign country, and you're all by yourself, your choices are kind of limited. But I didn't even get all the way there before I got lucky. I can recognize a fellow American from a mile away from the way they walk, talk, and dress. So when I spotted a teenage boy who is obviously American, I knew he was the one I was looking for. I told him who I was. Is all in order? I'm sorry, I don't speak German. Are you alright? Um, no, not really. Uh, I got separated from my exchange group, and uh, now uh, I've sort of been here for uh, all night, and I don't know what to do. Or so I don't, I don't speak the language. I can't talk to anyone. I don't have. I've been here like pretty much the entire night. So. Uh, uh what what happened? Uh, well, we we were having problems, I guess. We were, we had an argument, and I walked away, and uh, I couldn't find them after. And um, this is where I ended up. I'm just, I don't know what to do. What about your group? They're going to worry about you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll go to 
some cafe, I guess, and write them an email. And, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I have an idea. I live in a dorm not far away, and yeah, you could stay with me. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to put that on you. It, That's it won't not be a problem. It's uh, yeah. Of course, you can stay with me. Are it you, won't be a problem. Are you sure? Yes. I, I am. guess. I am. Okay. Well, I really, I really, really appreciate it. I have. I. I you know, it's like it's scary. I don't know where to go. Uh -huh. I. I have no. I don't know. I, I'm on this bench all night, and I. It, I don't know. I don't have anywhere to go, and it's. Well, it's now like, you have a place we can go. Yeah, well, I, re I really, really appreciate it, okay? Really, thank you, okay? I have to go now, like, for five minutes, just wait here, okay? I will be, I'll be back. Okay. Ah, I've, I've got you. What? You're coming with me. Who are you? What are you? Why? My name is Carlton. Joseph Carlton. I'm a private deck. What is going on? I don't... For what? They're, you're, those Germans from your exchange group, they sent me after you. Oh, God. Really? Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad. They went to the trouble. And uh, maybe I'll, uh, you know, stay here. And you can tell them that, uh, you, you know, and... Uh, Stay here on this bench, you mean? No, you can uh, go back to your uh, to your place and you tell them that... Uh, <laughs> For 10 euros? I'd like a little more than that. <laughs> some some American money too. Here you uh, go. I can exchange it. Okay. I'll do it for uh, another 20. Okay, here you go. Ah, thanks. All right. All right, thank you. I'll see you later, buddy. Okay, bye. Oh.